Hi music students, it's Miss Wacker from home and today I'd like to show you two different craft projects that are not just recycling but they're upcycling. Recycling is when you reuse something and upcycling is when you reuse something but you make it into something even greater or better than its original purpose. Today I'm going to show you two projects that you could do to upcycle a simple water bottle. A water bottle shaker or a water bottle planter. Let's get started. To make a water bottle shaker, you're going to use any plain water bottle or soda bottle and all you're going to do is take the label off of it, otherwise you're going to leave the water bottle intact. Now you can use whatever you have at home to decorate with. You could use just a simple sharpie marker to make markings and designs on the bottle or you could use stickers, paint, ribbons, really anything you have to make it special. Since we just celebrated Memorial Day, I used a Sharpie marker and some glitter pens to make mine a special Memorial Day red, white, and blue water bottle shaker. And now that I've got it decorated, I get to choose what I'm going to use to fill it with inside to make my instrument. Now you want to think about something obviously that fits inside the bottle and I'm going to use today rice and popcorn. You could also use beads or something like that if you don't want to use food so that you can keep your water bottle around for longer. Now when I want to think about it, I want to think about adding not a whole full water bottle worth of rice or whatever material I'm using. I want to use just enough so it can move around and still make lots of rhythm and sounds. Now I'm using a funnel because otherwise I would probably make a big mess. Now I've got my rice in, I can check it out. And I like that sound a lot. I could also, if I don't have a funnel around, I can make one. By simply taking a piece of paper like this that came in my mail, looping it around and with a piece of tape, I can make my funnel too, but I don't make too much of a mess hopefully or spill when I'm filling. Now listening to my sounds to fill with, I heard what my rice sounds like. Different materials will of course have different sounds. my popcorn in. Oh, well, that's a good sound. I think I'm going to fill my Memorial Day red, white, and blue shaker with a popcorn sound and make a great sounding shaker today. What do you think? The second project I'm going to show you today on how to upcycle a simple plastic bottle is to make a water bottle planter. For this, you're not going to keep your water bottle whole. You're going to get out a pair of scissors and you're going to cut the bottle, not quite in half. What you want to know is you're going to take the top of this bottle after you cut it and turn it around upside down. You're going to want it to fit inside without touching the bottom. If you're using a regular simple water bottle like this, a good place to cut is usually right below this short label. If you have a longer label, you might want to cut a little bit higher. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to make sure I'm all the way separated top from bottom. Now once I have it cut, I'm going to remove the bottle cap and I'm going to remove the bottle's label. This is not just a planter. This is a self-watering planter. That means if you might forget to water your plants or if you sometimes overwater plants, you can't have either of those problems with this type of planter because now you're going to insert a wick. For my wick, I use just a piece of clothesline that I cut off. Any rope that you have or yarn that's got a little thickness to it will do. You want to make sure after you cut it that you don't just leave the ends to fray and come apart. Your planter won't last as long. So I'm going to take it and tie off a knot on either end so that if it starts to fray, it won't go too far. My wick is going to fit right now all the way to the bottom and a little ways up. But when I fill my water bottle planter, I'm going to hold this in place like so. You'll see why. Your water bottle planter will tip over if you don't put something in the bottom. I would put some rocks. You can put some plain old rocks from outside. If you have some kind of decorative stones to use to make your planter all the more pretty, I'm going to put in some stones. Now I insert my wick inside the water bottle cap and I want to make sure that it can go to about the top of the rocks. The rest of the top I'm going to fill with dirt and 
whatever kind of plant I want to grow, I want to make sure I know how deep those seeds need to be buried. Different plants want different levels of water. And with your planter, your plant can choose how much it drinks, but you have to decide how deep the seeds go into the dirt. Put them too deep, they might rot. If you put them too close to the surface, they might not come up. Take whatever vegetable plant or flowers that you want to grow in your garden, put them in, make sure to top it off with the correct amount of soil. And now your planter is ready to fill with some water that will drink up that wick, water the dirt, and the roots will absorb just as much as the plant needs. You can water a little bit on the top to make sure the soil is wet. And then the rest of your water goes in the bottom. And the plant will drink it up when it's ready. If it gets a little bit old and dirty looking in the bottom of your planter, you can always take that off. You can change the wick. You can change the water or the stones out as needed. I got this idea for the water bottle planter from a local farmer's market of mine where they cut glass bottles. I don't have a glass gutter, so I'm going to make mine out of plastic. But as you can see, I planted rosemary, and now I've got rosemary plants growing inside, watering themselves year-round. I don't have to think about them too much, but they're ready to use whenever I want to use rosemary in my cooking. I hope you enjoyed my crafts today, and you might make your own water bottle shaker or water bottle planter at home. And you'll check out the rest of my videos on the Aug Prep Specials YouTube channel. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.